Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to change your Optifine gate design. If you want, if you want me to make another video on how to buy an Optifine gate, I can do that, but I'm just going to do an Optifine gate design. First thing you want to do, and all links will be in the description. I'm going to go to Optifine, Optifine.com. .net, I mean, not .com. Optifine.net. Here's all the stuff. You want to go keep it will show you this. Okay, so look, it says download and install Optifine A6 or 1.13, 2.2 or newer. It can be newer if you want, I don't really know. But, and then you want to start it with Optifine. But I'm going to show you first how to download the Optifine. And you, when you open the Optifine 1.13, 2 uh, E6, you want to go to settings, custom customizations, Optifine key. So, I'm going to do this, 1.13, I'm going to just go for this because I don't know if it actually works for newer ones, but click mirror, and like download, it may pop up an ad and it may bring you to a different website, <coughs> just close that out, and wait until this installs. It may take quite a long time. I mean, my computer's pretty slow. So it may take a little bit. I'll try to do this for a long, forever. It's why it's at five right now. But you know, I'm gonna start doing it right now. You wanna keep, hit it. This is for Windows 10. I know we'll pop this, do not hit extract, do not change this. It should already be directed to the dot Minecraft. You should want to hit <coughs> Do not hit extract. It just says that. Install it will install it. It may freeze a little bit, because that's what my computer does. But still, it may take a while. It may freeze on you, but that's just because it's like, oh, not that. It's kind of like an old version, so it may take quite a long time. There we go. I'll find a six and then you can just want to go to here. You want to go to installations. You want to go to new, and then it will say latest release. You just hit this, and then you go to auto find. Yeah, whatever. One point thirteen point two. I already have it up. Wait. <coughs> I already have it up, so you want to hit my options. You want to hit skin customizations, and then you want to hit Optifine Cape. And if you want your cape to show, make sure you have Cape on. And then we'll show up open Cape Editor. Do not do a reload Cape. I guess you could do that if your Cape doesn't. Work. This is for if you like are on. You just want to reload your Cape for if it doesn't like pop up. Or anything you can hit, or you look That's what that's for, you know, you can do it. But you just want to hit this. It will open your browser, just like this. This is what my cubes looks like. You can see right there. I have a face, because, you know, why not? And then what you want to do, you can deactivate it as well. Save when you type in your URL, <coughs> but that's good. You can change it, whatever. I usually have an all custom one, but you know, I don't know what you want to do. Www dot me cool uh, cool shoes dot com slash banner. I remember all the links will be in the description. You just want to go to this. Hit enter, it will bring you to the editor. And I'll show you an example. I'll add a different cape because I'm using that cape for quite a long time. I'll show you a cape that that I'll do. Uh, so what do I do? I do this. Um, there's some white. This. And then, 
I see that's the French flag. <laughs> I think that's French flag. I'm not so sure about that. I'm not sure. You wanna, you wanna copy this, copy, and then you'll have that copy. And you can just close this, and then you wanna go to your URL, exit out of it, and then paste it in. As you can see, it pops up the new cape sign. You hit save, and then boom, you're done. <coughs> and then you know you can go to your login, whatever your login was. You just put it in there. I'm not really gonna do anything about that, but you know, there's that. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Comment down below if you want to see how you download a cape. I'll see you guys later.